Oh, hey! One -na 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 -na. I entered this server and found myself surrounded by bots. The June 2020 update fixed a cosmetic bug that the bots had been exploiting, and it removed the ability for free accounts to text chat. The decade-long mechanic in TF2 called random critical hits misleading, confusing, ridiculous. Left 4 Dead 2 got an update before TF2. Quake got an update before TF2. Weeks became months, became years, and now here we are. So hey, how's it going guys? I have this whole video scripted out, but you know what? I think I'm just gonna go off to script and say what's on my mind, because I think I can voice it better that way. So, Team Fortress 2. It's not doing good right now, and I think we all know it. If you haven't played the game, then you've watched someone talk about it. Or if not, this is your first time seeing, hello, subscribe, all that good stuff. And, well, there's a lot of problems to talk about. Let's see, there's a bot problem. There's a sniper problem, there's a free-to-play problem, which really isn't a problem, people shouldn't complain about that. Competitive, there's a problem with player numbers not being real, balance issues, Valve not caring about their own game, and what? What do we have now? Nothing. Silence. Aside from the random patch, the random loot box, besides from that, nothing. And now, we're here, waiting. Do I still have fun playing the game? Of course I do. If I didn't love the game, this video wouldn't exist, the hours I've put into the game wouldn't be there, and honestly, I wouldn't have put any time or thought into Steam at all. Because to be honest, TF2 was what hooked me. I was a brand new Steam user, and when I went to the free to play tab, first thing that showed up, CSGO, Dota, and Team Fortress 2. And I'm sure for many other people out there, that's where it started. For me, I remember playing the Jungle Inferno update with a bunch of friends, seeing all the people logging on, the servers crashing from the amount of people getting on to play it. And now it's like, almost been how many years? What was that, 2016? Now we're in the year 2022, and we have nothing to speak home about. So many days with no update. And what does that mean for us? Well, nothing. If you don't like the game anymore, you can just put it down. And that's kind of how I've been about TF2. Ever since I recorded all the footage for this video about a few months ago, I haven't played TF2 since. In fact, this was the very first time I played TF2 in a while. And I played Demoman, a class that I don't usually put any hours into. I played Heavy. I just played because I wanted to, and every time I go into TF2, I don't usually leave with a, let's say, bad taste in my mouth. Except when it gets ruined by bots, but there's nothing I can do about that, which is kind of a shame, because in those rare times where I decide to play TF2, I don't want that experience to be ruined. And I feel like for a lot of people out there, that's what's happening. And new content is something that everyone begs for. In fact. I used to be someone who really begged for it. If you look at an old video on my channel, you can even see I posted that one video, Gabe Newell says he's gonna update Team Fortress 2. And, well, I don't say I regret posting that video, cause to be honest, we always need that little bit of hope, but Gabe, aside from the fact he doesn't have that much say over how games are developed necessarily, due to the how Valve is structured, but it's also a thing where they're never going to say they're going to stop updating game. The only time you say that is 10 years ago where you people used to just say, we're done developing this game. Because if Valve one day said, TF2 is done, then what? Value of keys, gone. Valve's money making system, the loot boxes. Why would you open it if you know the game is not worth it anymore? Aside from the obvious market issues, Valve wouldn't do that. And so Gabe, of course, when confronted with the question, are you going to update TF2? Of course he would say yes. He would just say, oh, the team is planning on doing something eventually, and move on. So, I don't know what else to say besides from that. I guess this kind of just paints a very bitter picture of TF2. And that's kind of how I approach it right now. 
TF2 has a bunch of memories. In my hundreds of hours, I can say they've helped me through a lot of things. Playing TF2 with friends, forming competitive groups, doing trading, all their highs and their own lows. But I guess TF2 has to eventually come to an end. No, 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 no.